So the first thing I want to do is download the hotspot data and you can download that from eBird at um, their confluence.cornell.edu website um, and you would go to California for example and download the CSV file to your computer. Now that I have this on my computer I'm going to open it up and um, it doesn't come with any headers here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on um, row number one in my spreadsheet and I'm going to click on the number one itself. I'm going to right click and it's going to allow me to insert a row above and then I'm going to give the some titles. So what I'm going to call what's in column A, I'm assuming it is like the hotspot code. And then country state. I believe this next one is county and then latitude, longitude, and then hotspot. And there are Google My Maps only allows you to have 2,000 locations per layer. And so all of California is way more than 2,000. So what I need to do is I need to find my county and I have looked through this data and I see that 081 is San Mateo County. And so I'm going to sort this data by column D. And so I'm highlighting column D, choosing sort and filter. And I'm going to sort from A to Z. And I want to expand the selection. And what it now has done is it's sorted everything by county, so 001. I need to basically, I'm going to highlight and just keep deleting stuff until I get to 81 which might take a while but I'm just gonna go through and delete like right now I have 829 rows I'm deleting I'm gonna right click on the highlighted green part on the left the row number and delete that and I'm gonna keep doing this until I have just have my county the 81 on here and I've actually done that on a different file. I'm not going to save this one. So here I've done that and I have um, just San Mateo County and it's only a 301 hotspots. So then I want to make sure that I save this um, file as a CSV. It says some features might be lost. That's okay. We didn't do anything. So we're not going to um, really lose any features. We didn't change any formatting. So I'm going to um, keep this format, say yes. And now this is saved to my computer. Then I'm going to go into Google My Maps. And so you would just type in like mymaps.google.com and it will open up a, um, a list of all your My Maps that you've created. I've created a bunch already. Um, but you need to have a Google account. That doesn't mean you need to have a Gmail account. You just need to be able to sign in to Google. It can be with a pre-existing email that you own. I'm going to click on create a new map and then I can title it. So instead of untitled map, I'm going to call this um, my five mile radius or whatever you want to call it and you can give it a description and I'm going to save it. And now I want to upload that CSV file that has all of the hotspots for my county. So I'm going to click right here where it says import. And before I do that, I can change the name of this layer. I can call this like hotspots. But I'm going to import and I'm going to choose my CSV file that is on my computer, which was this first one. And then what it's going to do is it's going to ask me to choose columns that are going to be my place marks. This is going to be where the hotspot actually is. And you want to make sure that you have latitude and longitude checked. And that's because it pulled these names because those are the names of the columns on our spreadsheet. I'm going to say continue and now it wants to know what the marker is going to be titled. So I want that to be the hotspot name which was what I called hotspot on the spreadsheet. And then I'm going to say finish and it's going to take a few seconds but it's going to load all of the hotspots in San Mateo County on our um, map. And if I zoom in you can see all of the different hotspots. When I hover over a hotspot, and um, actually I need to click on it, I'll see the name of the hotspot, 
like the location code that was on that spreadsheet on the export, country, state, county, latitude, and longitude. Now, if you don't want this extra information, like the county, the state, any of this stuff, what you can do is before you do the import, when you're in your spreadsheet, you can delete those columns by right clicking and choosing delete, and then that won't be imported into your My Maps. Now I need to find the center of where I'm gonna place my circle. So I'm gonna just kind of zoom out. I'm gonna um, add a new layer because I have one layer for the hotspot, so I wanna add another layer for my circle. So I'm gonna choose add layer over here on the left. And I'm gonna change the title by clicking the three dots and renaming this layer and calling it circle. Then what I'm gonna do is find where the center of my circle is. And so I'm going to get a marker and drop it in my particular spot. I'm just gonna say save. I can change the color of my marker to make it stand out later so I can find it easier by clicking on the paint can and choosing a color. But here is my latitude and longitude of my particular spot that I want the center of my circle. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going over to a KML circle generator. And what I need to do is tell it what I want my circle um, radius to be and in what units, miles. And then I'm going to put in my latitude and longitude. And when I pasted them just a minute ago, or copied them just a minute ago, it was both latitude and longitude. So I need to delete the longitude and the extra comma right here. I'm gonna paste the second one in and kind of move forward and delete what I had as a latitude. Then you can choose your circle color and the width of your circle, like how thick you want that circle to be and generate the circle. And so it's this one here, circle one. Now I'm gonna go back to my Google Maps and I'm going to upload my, um, or import the information to my circle layer. So I don't see the import feature because I added this point. So I'm gonna click So I'm actually gonna delete my point now so that I can import. And I'm going to import, and I'm gonna bring over my circle one. I had a, a one because I had downloaded it before onto my file, and so I just wanted another example for this video. Now my circle's on here, and my circle might not, let's see, here it is. So, and it, it took the circle, the center point, because I placed it in this KML file. So that's why I didn't need that red dot, and I also needed to get rid of that red dot to um, imp import my um, information. So now I have my map with all my hotspots within my specific five mile radius circle. The next step that I need to do is be able to um, access this like on my phone, for example, or to share it with people. So to share this with people, I'm going to click the share button right here. And with the share, I can change it so it's not private. So anyone with the link, for example, can view it, or I can make it public on the web so people can search for it if they wanted to. Um, but I normally just do on, anyone with the link can view. You can always give people editing access if you'd like them like to collaborate with you. But I'm just gonna do can view and save. Now I have this URL right here that I can copy and paste, and I can share it with people if I'd like. I'm not gonna share it right now, I'm just gonna say done, um, but anyone who did have the link can view. And one other thing that you may want to change, for example, is the base map. Right now this is kind of the, a general street map, but you may want to show, um, you might want it to have like the, the land, um, I forget what this map is called, um, but you can see like trees and water and things like that. Okay, so now if I'm out in the field and I want to look at my Google My Map that I created, when I'm out in the fields, I'm going to just open up Google Maps, and I need to make sure that I'm signed in with the same Google account that I used to create the Google My Maps. So up at the top left of the screen where it says where to, there are three bars. So you're going to click on the three bars, 
and confirm down at the bottom that you are logged into the Google Maps app on your phone with the same account and you can see down at the bottom that I am you can click on it and sign into other accounts or add an account if you're not currently signed in. Now I'm going to go back to those three bars and I'm going to choose your places. When I choose that on the right hand side it says maps and on the maps it lists all of my Google My Maps. I'm going to choose the one that I just created. It's the most recent one, so it's up at the top of my screen. And now when I've opened that up, it takes a minute for everything to load, but I can zoom in and I can see the circle. Um, sometimes it takes a little bit of time for everything to kind of load. You can see some of my circle has disappeared right now, but it will um, show up if you kind of move around. Um, but let's say that I want to go to a particular location and I can click on the um, icon of the location and it's my phone is taking a minute. You can see it's spinning down at the bottom, but I can see that it's Crystal Springs Trail, Raymundo Drive. And if I wanted to get driving directions to there, I can click on start down at the bottom and it will give me driving directions from my current location. Now the one thing you need to make sure that you do is if you um, don't want to have all of these icons on your map at all times, I don't want to see all of this information and all these spots all the time. So I'm going to go back up to your places and maps and click on this map. So I'm back kind of at the home screen. I'm going to click on the map and so see down at the bottom it says view map legend. If I click on that, then I can choose close and that's going to close the map so I don't have all of those hotspots on my map when I just want to use the map for other things. If you've decided that you don't want these extra hotspots, what you could do to clean this up is you can actually delete these extra hotspots. It will take a few minutes because there looks like there's a bunch of them, but if I click on one of them, I can click on the little trash can to delete the ones that don't fit within my um, five mile radius.